Uh, we, you can we start. sort of already met. But, yeah. You know, <laughs> Javier. Malik. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. It's it's pretty pretty nice that we're both like we both spent time in Montreal. Yeah. We both went to yeah. university there, and yeah, the vibe is completely different. Like yeah, Vancouver, com completely different. I would say like what I really really love with uh, Vancouver is the outdoors. Oh yeah. So I love like going for hikes. I went to Whistler like a lot during the, <laughs> the winter. I had an internship here. The first thing I did when I got my offer was go online and get a pass for Whistler. Oh man. Because I wanted to go there. So like being able to like go in big mountains really close, having hikes around, uh, that's like really something I love. Like even the beaches like during the uh, summer, like you can just like walk to a beach. Like you don't get that in Montreal at all. No, and the weather is just so much better here. Yeah. It's like. We didn't have to deal with winter. <laughs> there isn't any like snow, and when there is, people like oh, yeah. people overreact. freak out, freak out, yeah. freak out. So, like in Montreal, like we get snow nonstop, and like it's just normal. Here we got like snow one day, and like the office almost shut down because yeah. it was like two centimeters of snow. I was like, what's happening? Like that's not even snow for me. Like that's just like that's normal time. Like, but yeah, so that was super funny yeah. and. Yeah, and the funniest thing during winter is that you can tell like who's prepared for the cold and who's not. Oh yeah. Not. <laughs> like a lot of people tend to come out with like all these like thick jackets that you would see in the dead of winter in Montreal, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Whereas other people are just like in shorts and t-shirts. Yeah, basically like, like it's like ah, normal temperature. Yeah. Uh, so I started uh, Microsoft October 2017. I started with the Universal Store team and it was a uh, I was actually kind of in your shoes. Okay. I, I was. I used to be an intern at the coalition, and then I was like, okay, I want to sort of like stay here in Vancouver, and uh, came on as part of the rotational program. Um, so I started eight months ago. My first internship was with the garage, and after four months of garage, I got an offer at coalition. So like you, I've been working at coalition for the last four months. I came in with garage, and I had experience with startups before. Oh, okay. uh, so Garage was like great for me, I felt right at home uh, doing that because it's like basically you're building your product in four months, yeah. which was great. Um, and then I moved to Coalition, it's pretty funny because I actually like am not a big gamer. Oh, so, <laughs> so I was like not thinking at all like I would work for a game studio ever, but I ended up there and really liked it in the end and like started gaming more. So what, what kind of games do you play? That's <laughs> Starting from there. I, play, from. I played Gears recently a lot. <laughs> Alright, well that, that makes sense. Uh, before that, a little bit like Watch Dog, uh, Halo, uh, okay. I feel like that, but yeah, I never went like really into games. I was more like mobile games, so a lot of tempo run and things like that, but they're not like real games, AAA games, so yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess like when, when I was gaming, like my peak was when I was in high school, and it was like Gears of War, <laughs> Halo, Counter-Strike, all these things. And it was just like, for me, the most addictive part of games was just being able to like invest hundreds of thousands of hours mm -hmm. and just like still have fun after that right um and yeah i guess like as you've seen on the other side like i can't play gears of war 4 anymore yeah because i've played through the game so many times <laughs> during development that it's just like it's you weird know you know everything like, about it <laughs> yeah it's like oh i know the first entire chapter like the back of my head yeah right? yeah i was surprised like how much uh like detail and like thinking goes into like everything like the story or like even like visual effects or things like that like they think about like so much about everything and yeah. I never realized like how these games have like a huge fan base that really follow like everything and like small details can make a huge impact on the game in the end uh, so that's one thing like working on video games that I really learned that I wasn't expecting as a gamer before I was like before like in my head I was like oh like even if something's not like totally perfect it would be okay and uh, but like now I know like why like they pass so much time like it's known in the industry like having crunch time and like things like that and to get yeah. like perfect because you cannot like have something that's not like to the standards that the, your uh, fans are expecting in the end so that's one of the things that you get in games that you don't really see yeah. elsewhere like even now like I'm working on very customer facing apps right? yeah. so there there are things I can change that will affect like millions of people yeah but you know sometimes people don't notice if like the button is five pixels off center <laughs> right but people do notice like when the character doesn't move the same way yeah. like I used to play Counter-Strike a lot and Counter-Strike 1.6 and Global Offensive are completely different games right yeah. so like 1.6 has never changed and Global Offensive constantly gets patches <laughs> And you feel like, oh, they, they altered the, the physics of the weapon a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, you, you crouch a little bit less this time around. And it's, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that like, people really like, scrutinize all of everything, it. Everything, everything. Yeah. So I learned like, most of my software engineering skills by myself, like doing stuff by myself. So Always like, happens, like yeah. trial and error. 
uh, even like if you pass like hours and hours listening videos, there's nothing like doing something and trying it out and see if it works or not. And like even in the workplace, uh, that's like a thing that's very cool tricky. That, like they really push you, try things, make errors, fix them afterwards, and learn from everything you're doing all the time. Um, so yeah, I would say like do whatever you want, like find something you like, uh, work on it, learn, and also like non-stop learning. So like even like the internships here, I learned so much of them, of both of them. I would also say like another thing about that is like always uh, don't be scared like to share your ideas. Yeah. So that's the thing, like especially for an intern when you get into a team, you're like, okay, are my like, ideas good or not? Like you yeah. hear all these like people are really good at their job to like talking about things and you like sometimes tend to like not share what your ideas are. Uh, but that's one thing I learned, like, it's really like, important to share your ideas, like, never be scared, like, to give it. It might not be the best one, but at least, like, if you can, like, build on what you said and get something out better, yeah, it's always worth it to talk about it, so. No, definitely, and sometimes, like, the people who are, like, senior software engineers, they're very smart people, but if you stare at a problem for long enough, sometimes you just get, like, stuck in yep. a rut, right? Yep. So having that sort of, like, this different perspective is really, like, fundamental to solving some of the biggest challenges you can think of like sometimes simple is good right it doesn't <laughs> need to be overly complicated or anything like that yeah yeah maybe a last thing i would say also is like at least for me what i've learned is like don't hesitate to like take an initiative and in what you're doing yeah so whatever the project you're working on like don't wait always to be like told what you're doing like if you have like you see something that's not working fix it if yeah. you think something can be better talk about it like share your ideas to like think it could be better like that uh, because in the end like you're all working to make a product better so if you're like not trying to make it better yourself you're not like really helping the product in the end so i would say like that's a pretty important thing as a software engineer to, like always share what you have on mind and yeah how you yeah. can improve especially like if it's a game <laughs> like, we all want this game to be really good and yeah same as like we all want the apps and all these like different products that are gonna end up in customers' hands. Yeah.